Oh my goodness, what's going on boys? My name is Schlatt. Welcome back to Inboxes, the show where you send me emails and I answer them. Took last week off to focus on the main channel thing. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon video came out, it's doing well, it's doing alright. I mean, I've spoken a bit about how, pa how past videos of mine haven't performed as well as I wanted them to. Uh, and, you know, we're talking like 10,000 views after the first week. And this one's up at like 30 already. And I'm uh, still not happy. I'm just getting greedy, man. I'm just a, I'm just a piece of crap. Anyways, let's get started. Got a lighthearted one to kick things off. I've been watching your stuff for a while, and I'm starting to trust your judgment after hearing you talk about some stuff. Thank you. Might be a bit lighter than most questions you answer, but what games should I try? I just got a PS4, and I'm trying to get into some new games. Also, what is your opinion on loot boxes? Hope that whenever you see this, you're having somewhat of a good day. Thanks for the eight minutes a week of enjoyment you send my way. Warm regards, Anonymous. Oh my god, we got a hacker in the lobby. <laughs> He's, this guy's a hacker. This guy's a hacker. Alright, uh, you got a PS4. I have no clue. I don't have a PS4. Uh, I know that people were people were very upset over that Spider-Man game because of, of a fucking puddle on the ground that, that they saw in the trailer but wasn't in the game. Uh, there's that. I don't know. The first game I always tell people to get because of just how easy it is uh, to get into. It's free. It's open source. You might know what I'm talking about already. Open TTD. It's not a PS4 game, but uh, you could pretty much run it on anything you want to at this point. I mean, you, you could fucking load this up on a Tamagotchi and it'll still run like butter. Um, it's a great game. It's open source. There's a lot of people adding new content to it constantly. Transportation game. You like making money? Everyone likes making money. That's It's, it's obvious. It's obvious. This game is perfect for everyone. Try it out. Play it. Enjoy it. Oh my god. That's all I really have to say. I mean... I, I'm so stuck in my ways. Like the the last game I purchased that I that I put more than maybe five hours into has been PUBG, and that's not even a joke. That's not even a joke, and that speaks volumes about uh, about about my game preference. But uh, as far as loot boxes go, I'm not a fan of them, man. I think they're kind of predatory, especially uh, how how EA does it, and and publishers like EA the way that they make it kind of pay to win, they're like FIFA packs and shit. Like, bro, come on. If you're gonna do, uh, if you're gonna do microtransactions, I think, I think you should be doing just cosmetics. Don't make people feel like they have to pay money to be better at the game. Uh, I think I, I like the way Valve does it with CS:GO. Uh, even though I've never bought a case, I think that having a cosmetic market is just way better than uh, having a pay-to-win market. I don't think that's the way. You, I don't think that's the way you got to do things. But you know, EA will be EA. They're probably making most of their money on microtransactions at this point with fucking FIFA and Battlefront and Battlefield, all that shit. So uh, that's where I stand on it. Thanks for the question, man. Hey, Schlatt, I love all your vids and especially your chill streams, but I have a question. Are you happy? Holy shit. Not just in the moment, yeah, sure, but genuinely deep down, are you happy with where you are in your life? I've been asking this to many people I know, and I find it interesting, the variation in answers I get. Thanks. Sent with Proton Mail secure email. Okay, I like this guy. I like this guy. He's using Proton Mail. We got some we got some big time hackers in this in in the lobby today. Uh am I happy? Holy shit, what a loaded question. <laughs> I think the short answer is yes, man. Uh the long answer would would be I have a these days I have a lot more time to uh do the things that I'm interested in and that's ultimately what provides me fulfillment in life and uh generally, I mean, I mean since high school I've had less and less things to complain about. Talked about this before, but in high school, I, I would get, I would wake up at 6 a.m. It'd be dark. I'd get home at 6 p.m. I was in a very rigorous program. Um, the commute was rough, and I just generally didn't have a lot of time to do what I wanted to do. And over the weekend, when everyone else was going out with friends, everyone, you know, it was doing work, anything, anything at all. I was in a fucking freezer stocking shelves. So that's that's what I was doing. That's how I was spending my time. And I mean, most of that transferred right over to to college. College is a, is a bit. <laughs> It's a bit expensive, so um, you know, having instead of you know waking up at six and coming back at six, I was waking up at seven. I had school at eight, uh, and I got home at nine. I've been working pretty much thirty hours a week uh, for most of my college experience, on top of taking classes, and that's not even counting the job I had on the weekends, which I eventually quit. Um, but these days, it's a little better. I'm not, this isn't a sob story, me like, oh, oh, my life is so terrible, give me money on Patreon, but it, it is kind of, it's kind of funny though, because the only reason I'm able to have more time these days, I cut down on my hours at, at my job, I quit the other job stocking shelves, um, my Fridays are off, I just have a lot more time to get shit that I want to do done, 
so yeah, I, I am much happier. And the reason I'm able to have this time is because of YouTube. I mean, this is the reason I'm able to work less. And it's not, it's not like making ads off of my videos. Like this channel isn't even, it, this channel doesn't even make money. This channel is not monetized. The main channel videos, the roller coaster tycoon video I put out has made seven dollars. <laughs> like, like if I if I if I was a was a laborer who got paid by the hour for making videos, it would come down to something something like seventy cents per hour, usually, uh, because that's just how much YouTube pays. It's all donations, whether it's on the live stream on Patreon, and uh, it is absolutely the reason I'm pretty happy right now. So thank you guys, and uh, let's do one more. Dear Schlatt, I'm currently in my sophomore year of high school, but recently many of the adults in my life have been frequently asking me what I want to study in college. This one's a little long, I'm going to paraphrase. Uh, he's good at computers. He knows that if he goes into a computer-oriented program that he'll kind of have a, have a safety net to fall back on, a job that'll pay him some money. But he really wants to do art and pursue that. And he doesn't know if that's going to be a good idea for him going forward, which is a completely valid concern. I mean, I think there's better opportunities out there in computer science than in fine arts these days. And so in the end, he says, I want to know if you think it's worth chasing a passion that may land you in your parents' basement or getting a job that is unsatisfying but will pay the bills. I'm kind of torn here because in many ways, I see myself in you. I mean, you're a sophomore in high school, which means, oh my God, you have a lot of time. A lot of seniors, a lot of seniors, when they're sending in their applications, they don't even have any, any idea what they want to do. Um, you have time, so don't, don't, don't sweat it just yet, man. I'm in the computer science program at my school. I have a computer science-oriented job, but most of my free time is not spent doing computer science. It's spent engaging with that more artistic side of me and making videos and that kind of stuff. I don't get up every day like, oh, oh, I found the, the perfect for loop to use in this program of mine. No, in many ways, I'm, I'm kind of doing the bare minimum it takes to, to excel at school and, and make myself marketable in the computer science field while also focusing on the, pa on the passion side of things. Um, and I never, I never really considered the fine arts side of college in that, I knew that everything I could have possibly learned um, in terms of video editing, in terms of narration, I could have learned it online by some fucking Indian guy who teaches me how to do Premiere. And in many cases, that's the same for programming. A lot of people say that college is mainly good for connections, and I think I agree with that these days. Uh, but the thing is, with what I'm doing, you can make connections on Twitter now, right? You don't need to pay thousands of dollars to meet a professor and become a protege. And that's why I'm comfortable pursuing computer science, a field that I, I like. I like, and I'm good at it. And I don't necessarily think that it's something that you, you're going to be completely unsatisfied with. Like, if you're good with computers, there's such a wide variety of shit you could do that would pique your interest. Like, just recently, I started a computer engineering uh, course where I'm, you know, wiring up bread boxes and making circuits and, and shit like that. And I enjoy that way more than I'm enjoying learning about how operating systems work. Um, it's just the way it is. Like, there's a lot you could go into. And I don't necessarily think that, you know, if you're good with computers, I don't think you'll be... You'll, you'll feel forced into doing something that you're, that you're unsatisfied with. Like I said, you got a lot of time, and most, most college programs don't start you out with the very advanced, like, in-depth, very specific stuff. So, And I'm not even done with this program, so I can't really like, tell you the, the definitive answer, but I can tell you that what I would do, what I am doing right now, is going into the field that I'm good at, doing well in that field, ensuring that I have some place later on in the job market, while still engaging with a passion that I know I can excel in, not in the traditional sense, but in the new, in the new sense of what success is. And that's, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Wish you the best, man. I'm rooting for you. And I don't think you really need to drop one and only focus on the other. I think, uh, I think there's a lot of gray between the black and white here. And uh, good luck. That's about it for now. You guys have any questions, you can send them my way at jschlatt at pm.me. Boys, I want to thank you all for watching, as always, and have a fantastic week.